everyone, my name is Anuta and I'm 15 years old. I live in Singapore and I'm a Global Youth Ambassador with the Community Enrichment Project. Today I'm here with my co-host, Thambi. Hi, my name is Thambi and I'm happy to co-host today. I'm 14 years old and currently in the ninth grade and I also live in Singapore. Today's podcast episode is about a critical issue that many youth may not be aware about, female genital mutilation or FGM. The topic is may, may be sensitive for some listeners, so please do be advised about that. I have been doing research about critical issues that plague the 21st century through online platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. I started this initiative as it is a challenge for many of us to be updated on important issues today despite wanting to research about them. Through Project Palm Tree, in under a minute videos, you can be educated about a new statistical data or fact uh, about an environmental concern or humanitarian issue. Wow, that sounds like a very cool idea. And I like that the information is brief because a lot of people expect to get information in that way these days. You see that a lot in social media. So can you tell us more about what exactly FGM is? Yes, of course. FGM is a violation of human rights of women, girls, and infants, which involves the removal of external female genitalia for non-medical reasons. It is an outdated and inhumane practice carried out in Western, Eastern, and Northeastern Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and has no health benefits, only health concerns. It happens all around the world and not only in countries considered third world countries. More than 200 million women and girls have been a victim of this archaic process, making it a serious humanitarian concern. Wow, I had no idea that many women and girls the victims. And it happens in so many places too. I don't think people are aware of how prevalent this issue is in our world. Why should youth in other countries where FGM does not take place care about this issue? It is mainly young girls, infants, and women who are victims of FGM. As mentioned, 200 million plus women and girls have been a victim of this practice. This is an important issue that everyone, including the youth, should care about because if we have the privilege to not be a victim of this archaic process, we should be, spread awareness and donate to play our part. I agree. Even if you have not been a victim of FGM, youth can play a major role in helping to end it. But why does this even happen? FGM is an archaic process slowly, solely based due to social norms, societal pressure, and cultural ideas like femininity and modesty. It is considered a way of preparing women for marriage and child rearing in social groups in Somalia, Guinea, and Djibouti. FGM highlights the deep-rooted evident inequality women have to face, which negatively impacts their standard of living. It is continued today due to being a cultural tradition. FGM leads to numerous health concerns that include hemorrhage, tetanus, urine retention, ulceration, and an increased risk to HIV. Psychological effects include anxiety, depression, high levels of stress, and leading to negative impacts on their mental health. Wow, it's such a terrible practice. I can't believe things like this have been happening for so long in history. Is there any way we can stop it? There are definitely ways to end this practice. Reforming outdated beliefs and traditions in communities that believe FGM is the practice necess necessity in achieving womanhood and tackling the secrecy and taboo that allows FGM to be continued discreetly can aid in eventually eradicating FGM. Advocating for laws protecting women and girls from FGM and encouraging all genders to take part in highlighting the deep-rooted inequality women have to face and include them in fighting for women's rights is an extremely effective way to abolish FGM by donating to cred credible organizations like Plan International, UNICEF, UNFPA, we can actively take part in extinguishing this outdated practice. Wow, I've learned so much about FGM today. Thanks, Anuta. Do you have any closing thoughts for our listeners? It's been great sharing this message with you all. I wholly believe FGM is an anachronistic practice that hinders all forms of development, not only for girls, but, as, but also for nations. It is a serious issue that requires our immediate attention. So I urge everyone watching to do further research on this topic. Please check out my blog at projectpalmtree.blogspot.com. And if you or anyone else you know are in danger of undergoing FGM, you can contact the NSPCC FGM helpline at 0800-028-3550. This line is free to call, anonymous, and open 24-7. Thanks for sharing those resources, Anvita.
It's been great having this conversation with you today. I hope that everyone has learned a lot about FGM and will do what they can to help stop it. If you want to hear more podcasts from other youth activists and CEP ambassadors, make sure to check out Youth Voices Amplified on podcast platforms everywhere. And follow CEP's YouTube to watch our podcast videos too. Tune in next time to hear more content for youth by youth.